Urgent hot news straight from the world of the Lakers. A crucial update on Clay Thompson and Max Christie just dropped. And more, are negotiations on the way? Stay tuned to discover all this and more in this quick summary. And let's move on to today's news. But first, just check if you're already subscribed to the channel, because the next videos will be a series of content that will help you stay informed about everything related to the Lakers. Hey, Lakers fans, what a busy start for the player agency, right? In recent years, we've barely heard about it, especially us Lakers fans. But now things are heating up. We have some important changes in the league that will greatly affect our team later on. Check it out. Former Laker Cabayas Quell Pope left Denver and went to Orlando. James is returning to the LA Clippers on a new two-year contract, and Paul George decided to leave the Clippers to join another team. These moves will shake up the competition, for sure. It's interesting to see how these changes will influence the dynamics of the NBA. With key players switching teams, the balance of power in the league could shift. And for us Lakers fans, it's something we're keeping an eye on, right? We are looking forward to seeing how our team will prepare to face this new season with all these moves happening around. This won't directly affect their team, but it will have an impact on the competition. We expected the Lakers to take a big step, but so far they have only signed Max Chrissy to a four-year $32 million contract. It was surprising to see that they didn't make more moves. It looks like they are carefully assembling a full team of 15 players. We're all excited to see what else comes next. With so many teams strengthening, it will be exciting to see how the Lakers prepare for next season. But it's also important to remember that they are linked to several free agents and are interested in bringing back some old players. With that in mind, let's look at what they might be planning for the future. Plus, we'll break down the new contract they gave Chrissy and how it could positively influence their team next season. Without further ado, let's dive into this. Let's start by analyzing the new contract they gave Max Christie. As I mentioned before, he signed a four-year, $32 million contract, which took me by surprise. After all, last season he barely had a chance to play, or rather coach Darren Ham barely put him on the court, right? But it seems that the Lakers management saw something in him to offer such a long contract. Not only that, they prioritized him over guys like Torian Prince and Spencer Day Al, who were available on the free agent market. By offering this contract, they completed the squad with 15 players, filling all available spots completely and completely. With that said, they are completely capped right now in free agency, showing how much they value Christie. They absolutely didn't want to risk losing him, so they offered the contract on the first day, literally the first hour the market opened. I for one agree with this approach. And you, what do you think? Now I'm a little torn on the contract value they gave him, but I'm really happy to see they made him a priority. In my opinion, he has shown that he has the potential to be a standout winger and can fully justify the contract he received. Granted, it's difficult to fully evaluate him due to his limited playing time, but he has performed well by shooting 38% from three-point range, as well as being solid on defense. And the most incredible thing is that he is only 21 years old, which means he still has a lot of time to evolve and stand out even more. In my personal opinion, Christie is ready to play all the roles the team needs. In fact, I don't see any reason why he couldn't have done that last season. I'm rooting for J.J. Reich to see the same potential in him, as they are investing in him as an essential piece for the team's long-term future. With that in mind, this likely means they will have to make a decision on one of his current wingers. One of them is Toyin Prince, who is currently a free agent, and the other is Cam Reddish, who recently chose to remain with the team. They don't really have the choice to just bring them back or not. However, there are certainly ways around this, the most obvious being the possibility of exchanging them for other options. In my opinion, this seems like the best strategy for them to follow. They already guaranteed Christie's return, selected Doan Kett in the draft, and I would opt to bring back Prince over Cam Reddish. I believe this is the direction they are going. And it's not just about Cam Reddish, but it could also involve Jackson Hayes and even D'Angelo Russell if they can get a good deal for him. But if they have plans to sign someone of Clay Thompson's caliber or any other high-profile free agent, they will need to adjust their payroll. This will most likely involve trading players like Hayes and or Reddish to make room. That's the next step I see on the horizon for them. So if they don't adjust this, they will be in a difficult position. With LeBron returning, which is virtually certain, they won't be able to make any more moves. This will clearly prevent them from signing Clay Thompson or any other top player. In my opinion, the best option would be to seek an exchange as the next step. If they are not looking to free up salary space for a specific player, they can explore options on the open market. They may have their eye on someone like Brooke Lopez, according to a new report from Jake Fisher. 
While I don't see this as very likely, it would be a great opportunity to solve two problems at once. This means they could improve the team and at the same time, reduce the payroll. With Milwaukee not having many options other than offering free agents minimum contracts, this could be an interesting strategic move for them. I think they are completely willing to bring back players through a trade, but the only problem is that they cannot save money by doing this. However, the Lakers have an advantage because if LeBron agrees to make less money, as they say he will, they can save money. And if they can trade Brook Lopez, I think he would be willing to do so. They could offer Hachimura, Jackson Hayes, and Reddish in trade to make room on the 15-man roster. This could allow you to bring back someone like Torian Prince or even sign Clay Thompson. For me, this would be a strategic and positive move for the team. I'm not sure if the negotiation with Brooke Lopez will actually happen, but I think the proposal to make an exchange involving three players for one is very interesting. This means the Lakers would send three players to another team and only receive one in return. I would have no problem making this trade for Brooke Lopez. We're almost done, but before I realize that you Lakers fans haven't left a like on this video yet, this is very important so that YouTube can continue to share our content with you, and so we'll be helping you stay informed about the Lakers, so now, leave a like on this video, it's free. I don't like the idea of moving LeBron James to the power forward position, which would be necessary if we decide to trade Lopez, but I believe it is worth considering if he is a high caliber player who could not only open up space for our team, but also protect the carboy effectively. Clear. I would really be open to making a trade where we send three players and only get one back. I think this would be an interesting move to improve our team. And you know, this idea of exchange is not limited to a single player. Another name that is appearing a lot is Jeremy Grant. It appears the Lakers have had interest in him for at least four years in a row. Clear. Look, unlike Brooke Lopez, Jeremy Grant wouldn't demand that LeBron return to play at the three position. But I'm a little worried about how much he would commit to defense. It's not that he doesn't have the ability. On the contrary, he's very good at it. But it's all about commitment, you know? Even with a big contract, it could be a risk worth taking for the Lakers. So with a contract like this, the Lakers could get rid of some of the contracts they already have. They could make a trade where they include Hachimura. But in my opinion, I would rather focus on trading Hachimura in this situation because Jeremy Grant is a forward player. Additionally, they could include Gabriel Vincent in the trade and even consider involving both Jackson Hayes and Cam Reddish to make everything fall into place. And who knows, maybe Portland would be willing to make that trade without asking for draft picks in return. They seem to want to get rid of Grant's contract now, which, while no longer terrible with the salary cap rising, is still not the best contract. But for the Lakers, it would be a good chance to get rid of some of their own contracts. And considering Portland is rebuilding the team, they wouldn't mind simply releasing guys like Vincent, Hayes, or Reddish if they're not interested in them. And it would be great to have a three-point shooter like Al, who makes it 40% of the time, as well as being a good wing defender when he's at his best. But it all depends on whether Portland would be willing to trade with them. But to wrap it all up here, this free agency season has been very quiet, especially for the Lakers who so far have only brought back Max Christie. We haven't seen many interesting movements from them, which, in my opinion, is neither necessarily good nor bad. It is a phase in which we need to be patient. The market is dry for all teams, not just the Lakers. So let's wait and see what else they can plan to improve the team. They are in the position where they cannot sign new players for now, even if they want to. So I think the current market scenario could be an advantage for the Lakers. But I'm really interested to hear what you think about the team's next steps. What types of negotiations should they consider? Share your opinion in the comments below so we can discuss together. Thank you for watching this far. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to continue receiving the next content. Access now our playlist that will appear on the screen or in the pinned comment with all the latest news and news from the Lakers. And stay tuned behind the scenes, highlights, last minute controversies, transfers, everything about the Los Angeles Lakers team. Until the next video.